is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. What the fuck? Nope, I pressed the button there. Well, it's not getting my moves. Wow, Jimmy didn't get my moves. Uh, I myself am a former pro fighting game player. I jumped my move at least three times during a match, and he just kept jumping and mashing like a scrub and fucking whipped uh, or stuffed everything I did because my moves wouldn't come out. <clears throat> that was an absolutely terrible mash. Just jump and mash and do random balls, and I can't do anything about it. I can't punish. He's wide open after certain moves. I can't do anything about it because it's delayed my input to do anything to counterattack it. So, complete waste of time. Like I told you guys, sadly Blanca is actually really good in this collection because the collection lags to shit, the collection sucks. So because of that, because the game, oh by the way, I'm not waiting another fucking two matches and not watching anything. Uh, because the collection sucks ass and lags so badly, he can get away with so many moves you cannot get away with in the real game. It's so pathetic how bad the collection is. It was 100% solved. I can't even do it. He just got, he's getting three, four, five free moves. I can't do anything. The game locked me, I still can't move. The game's locking me in place. It's dropping frames whenever I do an input so I can't move. Yeah, this is bullshit. I couldn't do anything there either. Look at that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. <clears throat> that was insanely bad connection. Are you fucking joking? There's no way I'm staying to play that guy again. That was a, a humongous joke. Every time I was just standing there, block, block, he's like, hit, 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 like. Are you kidding? Every time that I try to do something on reaction, it just dropped the input because it's fucking terrible fucking connection. What a scrub. What a fucking scrub. All right. Is there, see, there's no, there's no lobbies with good connections. Sadly, that's the one I was just in. How about this? I haven't been in this one. Game Sentinel. We'll try this lobby. Oh my god, dude! Just shut up. <laughs> just shut up and stop whining. Oh. What? I, I couldn't block. Okay, the first hit connects. I get it. Why did she get another hit after that? What the fuck? Do anything, I tried. I didn't, I didn't even jump there. Finally, 360. I can't believe I got one. Dude! Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that was way too much. The thing erupted on me. There must have been an air. Uh, when she jumped, I did spinning clothesline. I did it three times. I said spinning clothesline three times. The game started doing a jab animation. It interrupts the jab. She mashes the button and gets a free throw. So, three times I input the correct move. Not once does it come out in the three times I input the move. Instead, he does a jab and then she just mashes punch and gets a free hit. The game, this connection is just so bad, man. <clears throat> It's so pathetic. It's so fucking pathetic. Seriously, have the, have the hits not even earned because it keeps dropping inputs left and right. It fucking sucks. And fills the lol cow of the gaming community. I, can't even, I seriously can't block. Why? Why does that hit me? I hit him way more than he's fucking hit me. I don't know why I got hit. I don't know. That's why I hit all the three. I'm beating the shit out of him. I'm hitting him three, four times where he's hitting me. He's doing like two moves. He's doing way more damage for no fucking reason. And then next thing I know, oh, you hit a combo. Well, I didn't do anything. I'm not attacking. I'm in a block position. Why is he hitting me with combos? Because the game sucks. That's why. Because the game fucking sucks. I hate all the three. Whoa. Bullshit. 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 I didn't do that. I did headbutt. Give me dash. Yeah, dude, I can't get my moves. Bullshit! Bullshit! I'm getting the salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Level 5 turn punch went through his body and didn't hit. Bullshit. I hate it, he, got, he literally did about 50-60% damage with 3 hits that I was doing headbutt and it just wouldn't come out and give me dashes. So, fuck this. Speaking of which, I don't know if we're even wearing the vest tonight because we got about... 50 minutes left on the stream. Uh, we got about 40 bucks left in tips to hit, so we'll see. 
We shall see. I'll show you again. No fireball. I don't even get my fireball canceled, dude. Huh. I give up. I, I seriously give up. It's dropping half my moves. It's literally dropping half my inputs. Low roundhouse, no fireball cancel off the low roundhouse. What the fuck? All I can taste is the saltiness. That is pathetically bad. That's a pathetically bad response to me trying to play this fucking game. I can't do basic two hit hit strings. They don't come out. God, this game sucks. <clears throat> so bad, man. So fucking bad. <sighs> it's hard to have fun when you can't play the game. It's like, it's just, this is the equivalent of playing the game with a broken controller. Where every time you hit the button, half the sudden it doesn't even come out. Like, how are you supposed to play the game? It's not fun. Yes, the best fest continues, everybody. Let me go get it. Thank you very much. Again, 48 straight freaking streams, guys. Wow. All right. The best fest continues, everybody. Yes. Yes. Can't block. Why? That made no sense. She was locked down. She was waking up. She got an invisible wake up jump. The game, the game gave her an invisible, just neutral wake up jump. Went right through my hitbox. <clears throat> I hate this game. Nothing about that character is like Street Fighter at all. That character plays like an oddball fighter. Like a fucking third rate 1990s fighter. That's how that character plays. And her hitboxes are fucking bizarre. That's why I hate that game. It makes no sense. She's right there. She's waking up. Low medium kick. Neutral jump goes through low medium kick. What? In what Street Fighter game does, do you wake up neutral jump and it's invincible and goes through moves that are me's? I don't know, but they just literally just did it on stream. That's why I hate Alpha 3. That game sucks. Alright guys, I think that's enough for me. You don't want to see me, you know, crying like a fucking baby here. Oh. <laughs> now, before we even get to the rest of the schedule, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll di direct your eyes, please, to the top of the stream, you'll see we are at a 48 stream vest streak. That's just insanity. They actually pay me money to do this. That's how dumb these people are. <laughs> pay us more money, idiots. If we hit 50, all right, I can guarantee you guys we're going to be doing a celebratory event in the coming week. Now, what will it be? Uh, someone is working on a fun montage of stuff that I could play live on the stream for everybody as a way to celebrate the 50 vest stream streak, okay? If we hit 50 tonight, that is. We have to hit the 50 for that to happen. Hint, hint. Now, it's not going to be ready tonight. I was hoping it would, but it's not. I was told basically next weekend it would be ready. So, FYI, if we do hit a 50 stream streak here of the vest, uh, at the end of this week coming up, we will be doing a celebratory event here on stream. Now, here's the thing. I would love to do more than that, but because the world is still in lockdown, I can't really do much. You know, like I would have liked to go out and have a celebratory thing with uh, decorations or wear it, you know, put on a new vest to say, look, we hit a big milestone. Now that we hit a new vest streak or something. But I can't do any of that because the world's sh shut down, right? Uh, PW Dubs cheered and he says, in high school, was the sal salutatorian jealous of you getting valedictorian? Um, well, I'm going to be honest. Um, what the thing was, in high school, I felt that it was easy. Like, even though, yes, it took a lot of time to study. I had to study a lot behind the scenes to get the, the grades that I got to be the valedictorian. I always felt that academics like that came naturally to me, okay? Book smarts came naturally to me. If I was given the material to learn, I could learn it and apply it easily, especially if I'm giving examples of how to apply it. Like, I, I could pick things up pretty quickly. Let's put it that way, all right? Um, certainly, you know, here we are uh, many, many, many years later, and I'm probably, my brain is probably the speed of a slug. But back then, I was actually pretty sharp, all right? And I was friendly with the, with the salutatorian. And what's funny is, you know, near the end of our tenure in the high school, I remember having a conversation with her. And she was like, you know, how do you do it? How the hell do you, do, you, do you keep doing this? Because I remember in particular, there was a couple tests and stuff that we had taken. And um, those tests, like, I aced them, and she didn't do so well on them. And she was asking me, how the hell did you do so well? And I was like, I'll be honest with you, it just comes naturally to me. Like, it's not like, I mean, not to lie, yes, I put a lot of time into it. Obviously, I, when everyone else was out partying and having fun, I was usually at home studying my ass off. And then it wasn't until, like, the last year of high school and college that I really started having more fun with friends. I'll be honest here, you know, I always was kind of, like, studying at home. And then playing video games, of course. Those are my two big things that I was doing. Um, but yeah, like, she actually, when I told her that, she started crying. And I was like, oh my god, I totally didn't mean to upset you. I'm so sorry. And she's like, no, you don't understand. Like, for me, this isn't easy at all. Like, I am literally busting my ass. My parents are working me to the bone. 
because they wanted me to be the valedictorian and you're telling me that you don't have to work that hard and I'm really like destroying myself to try to do well and I felt so bad I was like no really I'm really sorry like I'm just being honest I didn't mean I'm not bragging or anything at all you know I'm I, I would I then felt like really felt like shit because that's obviously not what I meant you know um but you know it's true that people do have different natural abilities and I'll give you a perfect example I told you guys about my friend T Carter many many times over the years right and T. Carter was able to absorb data about a video game. Any video game. I'm not even talking just Street Fighter. Like, he could play Mario Kart. He could play uh, a platformer. And within, like, hours, he would know the ins and outs of the game and master it. That was, like, his thing. He had a, an incredibly intelligent mind where he could just master shit right away. And I couldn't do that. I was the kind of guy, like, I need to be there in the arcade, you know, every weekend, you know, grinding to get to execution, to learn the strategy. You know what I mean? This kid, boom, he could pick it up in a minute. That's not me. I'm not like that. You know, I need I, I need repetition and I need uh, experience, right? But if you give me a book with a bunch of shit to memorize, I can memorize it pretty easily. At least back then I could. So that was my, I could memorize shit, but it was really the uh, application of that stuff that I had difficulty with. This kid could learn everything and immediately apply it to games and just destroy. So, so that's the thing. Um, everyone has these different strengths and weaknesses, and you know, yeah, the valley or the uh, salutatorian was actually angry. That she was working her ass off and couldn't become the valedictorian, couldn't surpass the grades that I was putting out. And then I tell her, oh, I'm not really working that hard. It's kind of easy. And she lost it, and I felt so bad. But um, that's a true story. Things that never happened by Phil. Oh, yeah? Things that never happened. Listen. Listen. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> These things did happen. <clears throat> and by the way, after that, we were still friends. It's not like... um. She was, like, insanely hated me or anything after that. We were still friends after that for a while. We talked all through college and stuff, so. The original drum to the dollar, wondering if I've ever ridden a horse. No, I've never, I've answered this a million times. I don't know why people ask me the same question. Obviously, it's some kind of a fucking meme I don't understand. No, I've never ridden any kind of an animal at all. Never. I haven't had sex in ages. <laughs> okay, and bleach injection to $3. Have you ever lied in your life? Uh, I would have to say yes. I, I, you have to think, at some point in my life, I lied. Like, for example, one distinct thing I can remember, last year, people were asking me about getting a cat and a pet, and I basically for a while told you guys I didn't have one, when in reality I did behind the scenes, because I knew that there was a trip coming up when that cat was going to be home alone for a while, and I was honestly scared for its safety. I was scared for Jasper's safety, and I didn't want anyone to know that I had a pet at home and then try to pull something when I wasn't home, okay? So I lied about it until I felt that it was safe enough to reveal that Jasper was existed and everything, you know, so... Yes, obviously, there are times in everyone's life that I feel... Is there any a single person that has never lied in their entire life about something? You know, at least when I lie, I feel like it's better for the common good. Like, I'm trying to protect my, my family, you know? Um, but, you know, I, I, could I tell you every specific time I lied? No. <laughs> of course not. We have hit the tips goal already. We have not even started playing and we hit the tips goal today. Awesome. So that means we're at Vestry 49. Amazing. Let me get the vest. All right. So, by the way, not that it needs to be said, but if we double the tips goal today, I put on the gunner glasses. That's like the two, the second tier reward. Just so you know, I'm not trying to say we need to do that either way. I'm just saying since people now we hit the goal, what's the next goal? That's the next goal. Okay. Let me get the vest. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for the support already on the stream before we even started with the game. Let's uh, get started. Let's resume and see where the game takes us today. All right. All my memes are detractor memes? I don't know about that. I definitely think there's many memes about me that aren't necessarily super negative. When I say detractor meme, I mean something that is meant to either 100% insult or it insinuates something that's untrue about me, like a rumor that they made up, a conspiracy theory they fucking made up to try to make me look bad. Those I consider detractor memes. Anything that has to do with anything that I really do or say on a stream, I don't believe is a detractor meme. Stop making jokes about why you're having boyfriends. It's not funny. It's fucked up. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money, blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. 